In the same way as Naruto, Gara hosted within his body a one-tailed spirit known as Shukaku. The only bonds that Gara shared with others were shackles of hatred and murderous rage. And in his eyes, combat was only to be undertaken with the intent to kill or be killed. As Naruto fought for the sake of his friend, Gara fought for himself only. Thus began a confrontation between two shinobi who had endured similar challenges, yet reached opposite conclusions. I'm gonna crush you! And all your little friends, too! My friends... are everything! I'll protect them to the end! Thank you. 
Get away! It's almost unbearable, isn't it? The feeling of being alone. But I have people in my life now, who are important to me. I care more about them than I do myself, and I won't let anyone hurt them. Into his final ounce of strength, Naruto caught Gara flush on the cheek with a full force blow. But it was not hatred that was behind the attack. It was the sympathy that only one who had shared similar experiences could express. I know that feeling. I've been there, in that dark and lonely place. for anyone but yourself. Because they saved me from myself, from my loneliness. They were the first to accept me for who I am. They're my friends. Knowing well the suffering of solitude, Naruto was able to empathize with Gara's feelings to a painful degree. And yet, Naruto now had important people in his life who accepted him, so he could not overlook Gara's aggression. Witnessing the power of love firsthand, Gara cast aside his bloodlust and departed with the aid of the other Sand Ninja. He left hoping that he too could emulate Naruto one day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment with your own favorite moments and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more exciting Naruto game content.